Can you make the announcement? This is Amber, and that is Kaya. Ah, I'm Kaya? <laughs> Wait, tell them what this, this is. This is Root Meditating Make a Difference. This is Satva, and that is Kaya. Bye. <laughs> exactly. Well, right. Let's get exactly. going. Wow, we have a bright, bright light there. It is really sunny out today. Exactly. Thank you for your help, sir. <laughs> okay. I feel like I'm not quite here yet. Um, okay. <laughs> Here's the list of what we're doing today. So everybody has a ball. Um, I have, you can have a, a tennis ball. You can have something a little bit bigger. I don't want anything this big. I don't want like a stability ball. If you don't have a ball, you can roll up socks. This is three socks rolled together. Um, so we're gonna need that today. And we're just gonna start warming up. So start with a little jog, just running in place. Um, several people commented that the Pilates we did yesterday, they really noticed in their neck, that their neck really got tired. Um, and I wanted to let you know that that's normal for beginning Pilates. Um, there's a lot of, you learn a little bit how to change your core and your neck gets stronger. Um, so we'll, we'll experiment with it on and off and I will remember to give you some options for if you're noticing it in your neck next time we do it. So let's go a little bit bigger knees, a little bit bigger of a run. So now you're moving through your feet. You're running a little bit faster. And then you're gonna slow down the run again so it's just nice and quiet run. And then you're gonna do some marching. So you're gonna lift your knees, lift your knees, lifting your knees. Well, something fancy is here happening technologically. <laughs> lifting your knees. Now I'm gonna have you increase the speed a little bit. So now you're running with your knees up. This is like marching band running, maybe. Now I'm gonna have you run where you kick your butt. So you're trying to get your heels up to your butt. Running, running. Jasper, could you go help Caius open his box? And then you can come and run. Run, go oh, kick your butt. There you go. All right, come back to center. And you're going to go from side to side. Now, turning your legs out wide, going a little bit lower, coming down and holding here. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> we were, you were freezing and it was said low bandwidth, so I'm, I'm trying to switch over. To this? To this. Okay. This Hopefully this is better for everybody. Holding here. Just holding this position while we figure out what's going on. I'm not moving, so it's kind of hard to Okay, let us know if there's any technical problems. <laughs> Jesse will be watching. Okay, so grab your ball. You're going to hold your ball directly in front of you. You're going to squeeze it as hard as you can, and you're going to squat. Okay? So holding your ball in front of you, squeezing it together, and squatting. We're going to do... A bunch of them. I forgot to unmute. Thanks, Anna. <laughs> that makes a big difference. That makes a big difference. Oh, now we have an echo. Oh, now we have an echo. Okay. Remove meditation and make a difference. You can do it down at the bottom. Left hand corner. Let's do 10 more, squeezing that ball as hard as you can. <laughs> Try muting the whole phone. Five more, five, four, three, two, 
One. Good. Now, I'm going to switch to this ball just to make sure that it works, <laughs> that all of my ideas work with this ball too. Okay, so the next one, we're going to do a whole sequence on the floor. So grandma, you can move to the guest bed so that you can lay on the bed to do it. So we're going to do four exercises on the floor. The first one, you're going to lie on your back, feet on the floor, you're going to put the ball between your knees and you're going to squeeze it. I guess I'm going to use this one because it's more obvious. So you'll see there's a ball here, lifting up, squeezing my knees together, holding 10, butt up, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, this is just to report in with you, 3, 2, 1, and come down. Remove the ball. Now, you're going to do this tipped back version that we've done before, where you're going to pass the ball around your body. So I'm rolling the ball under and around. Under and around. Under and around. We'll do a few more this time. Tip back. Noticing the abs that you might have discovered yesterday. Now we do need to go the other way to so send the ball the other direction now. Under, round behind your back. Two, three. If it's too much, don't worry about the ball. You can just be in this tipped back position. Oh, I lost the ball. Turns out you have to look a little bit at the ball. You can't watch it in the screen. Two more. Good, and come out of that. Now you're going to go into your plank position. So this is the position where you're on your forearms, and then either on your knees or your toes. So you can be here, or you can be here. And what you're going to do is you're going to set the ball on one side. Have to be so far back so you can see me. One side, other side. One side, you're tapping the ball. Forward, what you would see is tap, <laughs> tap, tap. Yeah? So everybody go into position. Tap your ball. Tap. <coughs> Keeping your butt down. Four. Try not to let your hips change. Almost there. Last one. <coughs> and relax. Good. One more on the floor. So for this one, you're going to do something fancy with the ball. So you're going to be on your hands and knees. So that's our position. Now you're going to put the ball behind your knees and you're going to squeeze it. Okay, so this is fancy. Again, if the ball is too complicated, don't worry about it. You're going to try to squeeze that ball and then not letting your back change. See how my back is totally stable? We're just lifting your foot up as you look at Daddy's ball. the ball. Oops, you got to move, kiddo. They can't see. This is cool, Daddy. A few more. Ten, nine, eight. Squeeze that ball. Seven, six. Don't let your back change. Five. It's a pretty small action. Three, two, one. Chaos. All right. Switching sides. Hands and feet are down. Hands and knees are down. Squeezing the ball in your other knee. Feel free to skip the ball if this is too much stuff. Now, keep squeezing the ball as you lift up. One. Keeping the rest of your torso really stable. That's the ball vanished. They're valuable things. Ten more. 
two, one, three, four, five, and I, five, I six, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, ten, and relax. Now you're going to come back to standing and we're going to do the squat. I can't see a ton. So holding the ball between your hands. Straight out in front of you, working your pec muscles. Squeeze it as hard as you can. Drop down, come up, go as low as you can. Go the speed that's right for you. Squeeze your hands together hard. Did you just come up? You get both of us with our heads chopped off at the top. <laughs> ten more. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Squeeze the ball. Last one. Good and relax. Now we're going to do our sequence on the floor. So you can come down to the floor where you're going to stay. The first one is the bridge. So you lay on your back. You put the ball between your knees. Okay, everybody have the ball there. Squeeze your butt. Lift it up. Hold here. I have turned so I can see you guys. Holding here. Squeezing as hard as you can. Squeeze even harder. We're going to hold for 10 more seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and come down. You're going to come to your seated position, tipping back at an angle, whatever angle feels right for your body, and you're going to pass the ball around your body. Now, if this is just feeling crazy, just go back and forth under your legs, or go like this, right? It doesn't have to be, doesn't have to be exactly what I'm doing. The goal is to be tipped back so that your core is working. We'll do a few more this direction. Now you're gonna reverse the direction. So go the other way around your body and under your legs. To keep breathing, keep tucking your tail. So you don't feel it in your back, you feel it in your abs. Tipping yourself back as far as you can. We'll do three more. Three, two, one. <laughs> All right, now you're going to go into your plank position. So get into your plank position. You're going to tap the ball from one side to the other side. You can also just do full on plank and not worry about the ball. That's okay. So come into your plank position. Arm out, arm out. Two, three, four. It's okay to just hang out in the plank position for this whole time. You're deciding what's right for your body. Two, one more time, each side. Good, and come down. And now the last one, do glute exercise, squeezing the ball with your hamstring. So get into your hands and knees. Tuck the ball in your knee. Squeeze it. Okay, now locking your spine in place. Lifting up and down. Two. 
Making sure your pelvis doesn't move like this, right? Not a big action. Really isolating. You gonna feel your hamstring working? The other thing is keep everything in line. See, I'm not doing that. So everything's in one straight line. Your legs going straight up. Not turning out. Just do a few more. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, you're going to switch. Ball goes in your knee. Hold that ball. Lifting up. Again, keeping everything square. So your leg isn't going out to the side at all. You can do that one. That's one where we talk about what a dog looks like when they're peeing. You shouldn't look like that now. Keep going a few more. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, last one. Good and relax. And then in our last um, minute and a half, I know everybody's missed push-ups because we haven't done them. And we didn't do them on Saturday, so it's been several days since we've done push-ups. So we're gonna do push-ups with your ball. So you're gonna set up in your push-up position, okay? You can't see what I'm doing with the ball. I have to okay. push up to the ball. So, you're going to do a push up. Push the ball over to the other side. Stabilize it. Push up. Now, start if that made sense to you. If that didn't make sense with you, don't start. So, some of you are doing push ups, some of you aren't. Um, you can do your push ups on the countertop. You can do your push ups on the oh, back of the couch. On the toilet. Or you can play this way. You can have your. Yes, there you go, Kais. You got it. So you push up, push up, pass the ball. 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 Let's do a couple more. Push up, pass the ball. Oh, push up. Pass the ball one more time with ball on each side. Push up. Pass the ball. Push up. Pass the ball. All right. That was today's move. Maybe we'll get some. One more minute. One ball. Two balls. Well, one more minute. We might as well do one more round of push ups. Okay, so. This time you have two balls. This time your little is going to pass the balls underneath you. So you can imagine them going underneath you while you do your push ups. So again, you can be on the couch. You can be on the floor. Do some push ups. We'll do one minute of push ups. I have giggles. Keep going. It's okay to be up on your fist if that feels better for your wrist. Keep the ball going. Good job. Keep it going. Ten more seconds. And stop. All right. All right. So, so easy. Now we find. So we put in two carpets and no normal carpet. <laughs> now we're gonna find some quietness. <laughs> All right. Chaos this morning. Goodness, technology. It's. Let's get settled. You're sitting on the, a chair, plant your feet firmly into the ground. 
like you're rooted a couple of feet down. If you're sitting on a cushion, feel the connection through your sits bones. Nice upright posture. And close your eyes when you're ready. Deep natural breathing. Grow a little bit taller. Relax your muscles. Find the empty space. The empty space between your breaths. Find the empty space in your own image of your body, in your mind's eye. There may be particular dense areas in your neck, anywhere there's pain, anywhere there's tension. Bring your focus to the empty space between those dense areas. Enjoy your feeling of the weight of your body. Let's go back to your breath. Find the space between your inhale and your exhale. Find the space between all the sounds in your environment. If you are a lucky one who has got a very quiet environment, I'll bet you can still find some sounds. And in between the sounds, put your focus there. Focus on the silence. If you're in a noisy environment, they may be hard to find, but they're still there. Microseconds of silence. Find the empty spaces in the muscles of your face. Maybe your face begins to relax. Your jaw muscles begin to relax. Now we're just gonna go for, say another 40 seconds or so. And I would like you to just try to find the empty space wherever it is. 
on your own. And open your eyes. Take an inhale and exhale together. Ready, one, two, three. Inhale. And exhale. All right. It's a pleasure for me to work in this te technology configuration because I can see people as they're meditating. It's really great, hey. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, thanks for the technical help, Haven and Lisa, and everybody who has given us some technical help to see. If, hopefully, that that's pretty rare. Hopefully, that doesn't happen again. Right? Right. Right. <laughs> okay, make a difference for today. Oh, this is a good one. Today's make a difference is ask for help. If you need help, ask for help. So, if anybody knows any internet technicians who <laughs> need some help, uh, <laughs> And just in general, asking for help doesn't isn't a sign of weakness. So if you need it, we're here and your friends are here, your family's here. So that's to make a difference for today. All right. We'll All right. see you tomorrow. Okay. And we'll I guess we don't have to go anywhere to chat. We'll just maybe oh, yeah, we can just sit on the floor right instead here. of sharing right. the chair. <laughs> so we'd love to chat with you guys. Have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow. Hi.